so I am back. Need to get some sleep so it'd be fresh and ready. So we just got our broom. Um, we have to do a broom trial, which kind of feel like they're ripping me off here, almost. What didn't I pick up? Oh, still have that. Yeah, we're going to have lots of supplies for potions, which I guess is good, so. Oh, we got one point to spend. Uh, well, we'll wait to spend until we have some more. All right, let's get on with the game. Days.
We need to. Whoa, go back, go back, go back. I guess we'll get more of these. Gryffindor. Among the rays, will be weak, Sammy. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying. Did you from what quit? Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, never <coughs> has the competition. I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. You could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Will we lose? Maybe. What the heck?
Alright, let's try that again. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Ready when you are. Yes, I did it. This is rather fun. Brilliant. Damn it. Excellent. Are you kidding me? Did worse that time. Ah, fucking hands. <coughs> Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Ready when you are. I hate these.
，哎。Wonder what happens if you leave. Just send you right back. I'm doing bad on purpose, kind of. I already knew I was gonna lose this soon. I missed that first one, so I really don't care if I. Champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Once try again. <laughs> Ready when you are. Hey.
Failed again. I've hated these things ever since Grand Theft Auto. <sighs> Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Not really, but ready when you are. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, finally. <sighs> Woo. No penalties. Made it. Finally. I can stop doing it. single trial surely my win means something you're not terrible but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect all right challenge accepted then. perhaps you have what it takes after all we shall see but don't get your hopes up the next course near irondale offers a much tougher challenge you can try to prepare by racing this course again just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is you can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I like how they just like ignore the four or five times before. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Well, that is terrible. It took you six tries? Wait a second. 
I can't even imagine how difficult it'd be to try to make a game of uh, my broom race, which isn't just a broom race. It's also like uh, target practice. for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Okay, um... Pet the kitty cat. Where's the entrance? Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheat, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. <laughs> Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. <coughs> Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. <sighs> I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? So that shop is useless now.
Unless you gotta go there later to get a mission or something. Just different door. Mm. How do we get behind the building? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. Uh, I think we'll wait on those really big ones. Niffler cookies.
It must be a locked door for now. Okay, that's a thing you can do. Some of the dialogue is just very repetitive. Like, hello, I'm already in Hogsmeade. back to Hogwarts. I think I got stuff to do there. Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Back and forth a few more times. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. See, the thing is, though, in the books, and even in the movies, it was found by mistake. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. 
While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Revelio. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Swish and flip. Alright. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Uh... Oh, hey, no. There we go. All right. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Well, that's very unhelpful. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I'm guessing Merlin must have been like the greatest student Hogwarts ever had. Goodness. My old school bag. Where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay, yes, fine. Ooh, what's this? Eh? I waited for you. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more issues of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Huh. A and T, huh? Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. I didn't pop up that thing. It did that on it, so. Aha. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Funny. Lumos. B. 
bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. <laughs> Uh, it's been a while. I haven't found a good toilet here. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Well, it's not meant for you. It's meant for house elves. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Accio. Self can find us in here. You may never find your way out. I'd be more worried about that. Right, careful. Huh? He's making time oh, fly. There you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Yeah. Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's <coughs> in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to do. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke seen students in need of an extra file for potions stood upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. 
It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. <coughs> Good, because I have a bunch. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we'll do that first. Sleek dueling gloves, tainted cloak, or tanned cloak. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. A tainted the cloak sounds cool. Valuable resource. Will you stop cleaning? I'll give you a sock. Go away. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Ah. <sighs> uh. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You it's should craft. have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Alright, where do we want to put this? Um, hmm. Well, guess we'll put the potting table over here. This is sunlight. Uh. Okay, I guess I can't get those. Um, uh, let's see. We need to switch over might be getting close to time to Yes, spell set three is what I should go for next. Yes. And then to place. 
Okay, so this is how we can. Yeah, I like this one probably the best. Alright. And then. Just place it. Ah. All right. Potions is next. I guess we'll put this one. You've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Let's see what else. Right. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. <coughs> Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. No unidentified gear. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Okay. You can acquire it by Done. vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oops, did that already. But, okay.
There's plenty of space right there. I oh, can change the color. Uh, it doesn't look white. <laughs> I guess it's just default. That's gonna do for now. Not like I can sit in these chairs. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? Can I remove an item I conjured? Yes, Indeed we already covered that. You already know the spell, Evanesco. When you vanish something, the moonstone used to conjure it will become available to you again. I think I can manage from here. Thank you. I look forward to seeing your work. All right. So... Oops. Didn't want you to do the table. 
under that other chair. No, not that. I'm not too happy with that rug, so. Alright. Let's see, what can we plan? I guess to do Dittany. What potions can we make? So my guess, I don't know if they actually said it at all in the books, but I would say that probably uh, the room of requirement was built by Godric Gryffindor, either him or... Uh, Okay, so they got that right. figure out what those are for. Professor Black glanced at me the other day in the Great Hall. I spit out my breakfast. Okay, so two... And So, unicorn is one, so five, so seven. And seven is whatever that thing is. Okay, so looking for two, and then. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the old troll, I should think. <laughs> Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. 
You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. Oh, I've been to that painting. Handy resources. All right. So let's see. What quest do we have now? Cash in the castle? Oh, that's just... We'll go do that one. Field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, uh, you quiet. Oh, that's locked. Rebellion. Anything? Oh, there's some over here. But the question is, is does the wand handles actually do anything for my wand? Like, prove it in any way. Doesn't look like it.
Let's see. Downs. I think it was under core. Locate on the map. Locate on the map. Rhinoceros skeleton. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my help. You look like a bad. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Try to keep Scribble your tried to give me detention, But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me. <coughs> that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did. But something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Uh... This way. Sure. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Well, if it wasn't, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Ah, I have been here. I knew this was something. I mean, I have been there, but... Oh, you just gotta leave him behind? What a jerk. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf zones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trying... We met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. 
We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Revelio. Of course. Alright, I guess I'll just leave that till later because I want to keep destroying stuff. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Olivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? That's what they no, all someone say. Someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. Yes. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak <laughs> off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. He's I can a teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confrengo. Very well. <sighs> You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yeah. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the under. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to yeah. say, it. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. Okay, bye. Do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian. 
Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Yeah, are you well, gonna keep interrupting? It's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must have promised to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. Maybe. He I can see traces him. of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Why are you dressed like Ramrock this? Somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. So tell uh, everybody. Feldcroft, I'll Got send it. you now. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Well, I mean... I stumbled upon that it? room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. My I'm not father. afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Sorry. I try. Oh my gosh. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, it's because you're annoying and you just keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Sounds, uh... Awful. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. People can be so cruel. 
just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Storm are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'm guessing that's where I'm going to come in. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I would like to test Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects. Okay, that's definitely a first year Once spell. You've completed a few prerequisite tasks. Do see me after class. <sighs> Uh, well, we're not going to go looking for the gobstones right now, are we? This is the... What quest is this? Uh, oh, this is the one with the handles. And I would be interested to see what new handles or handle I get. <coughs> Oh, that's why. All right. Okay, on the map. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Well, you're not playing the game, so... Of course, you haven't lost yet. It hasn't sprayed you with anything yet. Weren't you paying attention to when she was talking? 
It only matters when you lose. Whatever the rules of the game are. Then it sprays you with a foul liquid. It's not going to smell right up front. Up. Up, down. Can we turn? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, I'm trying. Okay, I guess it's actually inside. What are you up to now? Uh, you know, same old, same old. <clears throat> I think this goes up to Trani's class, although she's not the teacher yet. Second to read that. Just trying to cook up some lunch here. Because unlike my character, I do get hungry in real life. So, actually need food. Have anybody watching? I'll check. Yep, hello. Um, promise I'll, I'll be done very shortly, and then we'll get right back to it. Okay. This standing model of a hand is demarcized to help students in the practice of palmistry.
Um, depending upon the angle of which the model is read, it either has considerable lifeline or likely to die in a fortnight. If you're wondering what I'm making, I'm just making a sandwich with roast beef, ham, and turkey. Some tomatoes and onions. And of course, provolone cheese. Lately, I've been playing this game at night, so I've already eaten by the time I play. Oh, and now my dog's going to start barking at me. Because she thinks my food is her food. No, it's not your food. Shut up. Shh. Nobody wants to hear you bark for you. No. No. Bad dog. You don't need to bark. Go eat your food. Sorry about that. So now that we got lunch, late, but we got it. All right, back to it. All right, so we need to find the others, and I'm guessing there's not one in here. Charlie really messes up that room. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. puzzle door but we're full up right now so oh okay I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Maybe through this door? Um, 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's. I got it. You don't need to repeat it every five seconds. I'm looking in high places. I need to go up. For some reason, the uh, music makes you think of Kingdom Hearts. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accurate. All right. Four six. Another I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, 
still fucked. Fucked. And this should be the last one. That's the last there of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio. Do a very good job. Oh. There we go. What are you up to now? None of your business. Have I sleep? Oh, you know what? We can't. We can't go here yet. Here you go, Hogsmeade. Um, you're the closest. We gotta sell some of our stuff. Although we gotta destroy it. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. you again what are we looking for today Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Okay. Now we can go to her.
There we had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstone. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. All right. Uh, we don't need to go here. That's kind of cool. There we go. Travel to the rumor requirement. <clears throat> Collect our potion. I'll take a minute.
Do you have anything new? We can build? Are you flashing at me? Wish you could actually play the games. to change this back to what it's supposed to look like. And I'll make that invisible. And I'll take the hood off. Go see this dude about the map room. You're entitled to your opinion. Doesn't mean I'm obliged to agree. I should say a bin's That was weird. That's what I'm saying. My grandmother told me.
Am I going the right way? I supposed to be oh, I'm like way off travel Hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which. Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly had to Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then, we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt, and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say Yes. That. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Yeah, he's probably going to be really upset it took so long. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Sorry. Peeves. It's a shame he wasn't in the movies. Ugh. Let's see. They really like their spiral staircases. You two seem ready for adventure. To think. It was beneath us all this time.
There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Yeah, the music reminds me of Doctor Who. If only you were here to see this. No chats yet? Okay. Feel free to chat with me. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess yes. extraordinary <laughs> magical yeah. abilities, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me.
Ooh, what's down here? Because I can't access that yet. All right. So, quest. All right. So L one. Oh, we need to go to the map. Travel was before I invented blue powder. Yes, yes, you're the greatest person ever. Huh. Gotta go down. And I feel like the I thought more about it after I got off last night. I feel like the changes I s said yesterday would actually make the game a little longer, but a little bit more thrilling to play. Yes, advance time. I did that, didn't I? How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander.
You've got it now. <coughs> practice, and I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the hall. Just having a go at the enchanted book. Uh. Um. Let's see. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Alright, click that. Alright, now we will do... Okay, so we should probably go outside. Is he gonna fly?
tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn to findle, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. There it is. Big after we're done with the popping balloons, and I think I'm gonna take a sh little break for a while. Let's see, one, two, three. I see three of them. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Okay. X. Circle. X. Triangle. Square. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. 
I think it's learned its lesson, but do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. I will end this episode here for now. We played for a few hours, or a couple hours, I think. So, like I tell you guys all the time, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to know what I'm going to be playing again, I also just recently made a playlist that has all the past live streams and reviews, anything Harry Potter related, so see the Harry Potter playlist. If you enjoy reading the Harry Potter books and are a little bummed out there's no more Harry Potter books... Why not consider giving my book series, The Guardian of Light, a try? It's, uh, I mean, I personally think it's better, but I'll leave that for you to decide. So with that said, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, which might be a few hours from now. So talk to you later. Bye.